Welcome back to the channel. This is Sai Watka from Divine Tarot. This is going to be your almost personal reading. All that I need to know about your person, your situation, where things are going. Let's take the next four days. I hope you guys are doing well. So what's happening? We have eight of pentacles. Many of you guys are just trying to work on yourself. I mean, you guys are trying really hard to not follow back the past toxic patterns. Uh, if you had a habit of going back to your person after feeling vulnerable or lonely, you're not wanting to do that anymore. You're very uh, focused on your own life now, your own purpose. The devil card, it's not like your person is completely off your mind. You do think of them, but you do not want to be chained to them or you do, do not want to feel stuck to them. Are you getting my point? With the tower card, you now see the uh, what they exactly put you through. When you are consciously thinking, when you, you you tend to see the faults. You tend to see as to what they put you through. But you, you, when you are lonely, when 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 you are vulnerable, when you are very much wanting them to 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 feel in a certain way, you won't want to see their faults. You'll forgive them for a lot of bad shit, right? But now you're not wanting to do that. You're wanting to see their faults. You're wanting to see the red flags. You're wanting to bloody count the red flags. Okay, you want to fall out of this toxic pattern now. The moon card, I do not know if you have been in touch with this person. But you definitely do not trust this person. You have a feeling that they could be talking to someone else. Okay. The Ace of Pentacles, right now, you really wish to be successful financially or uh, you want your career to be going forward now the past one year things haven't quite gone your way because you were very focused on some other things in life that is majorly your relationship when you give your relationship everything you tend to lose on your other things right but now you're wanting to uh, completely change that you want to focus on your money first or your stability what else do we see coming up for you with nine of wands i mean there are days when you feel sad uh like about it you 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 tend to have that victim mentality sometimes but this doesn't help you'll only end up feeling lonely you'll only feel uh, end up feeling low uh, sad or depressed okay what else do we see <clears throat> with four of cups yes uh, some of you guys even have a doubt whether you guys are in depression or whether you, you guys are going through a bad phase in life you are thinking a lot you're overthinking at this very current moment but you're trying to distract yourself by focusing on work okay when it comes to your person what's happening king of wands this person supposedly seems unaffected uh, if you follow them on social media they could be posting pictures and acting all uh, normal and happy and uh, you know like they are tra trying to celebrate their life okay what else do we see the two of wands they seem to be more in control of their life than you are and that's clearly hurting you that's that's bothering you it's like how can someone who's put, put me through shit have a better life than me right what else do we see With the Eight of Wands, I do see this person having a lot of attention right now. They they seem to gain a lot of attention. Maybe they are good looking with King of Wands here, Two of Wands. They've all they've always had options, you know, lining up to them. Okay, what else do we see in terms of how do they think about you now? The lovers card, they, they don't think of you, but they have dragged you. They haven't quite chosen you. They always kept it as an option. They were not completely focused. They were not, um, you know, going ahead with the idea. They were rather dragging you with their life. You know, they, they were still getting attention from other people, but they were enjoying that. Right. In terms of how they think of you now, in terms of the connection. With Ace of Swords. I mean, in the past, they could have tried to reach out, but things did not get anywhere, okay? And things are still stagnant as they were in the past. So, yeah, it remains. Things are not good between the two of you. With Five of Swords, it's like they have a lot of ego issues, right? They've, they've played a lot of mind games. They've always gotten you to chase them. And they were trying that. They were trying to trigger you so, the, so that you'll chase them. 
right they have hurt you to a point where you started to doubt your worth you started to doubt your value right these people do that when when someone is doing wrong they'd rather uh, so blame you for the stuff you've not done just to cover up themselves from from feeling vulnerable of or from feeling guilty okay what else do we see the page of cups i have a strong feeling that they will want to message you in the coming days and why is that what's the major purpose behind it three of swords be very aware that this person hasn't completely let go of the other options they want to drag you with their life but they haven't quite decided on choosing you so please be careful okay With the eight of cups, they do not want you to move on from them, right? So they'll rather charge in. They'll 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 want to give you their attention so that your attention gets back on them, so that you do not think of moving on, so that you start thinking of how to get back, how to uh, you know uh, get back in relationship with them. That's the purpose. That's the intention. Okay. It's it's very toxic from what I feel. With Queen of Wands, this this person might be posting a lot more pictures so that you uh, get distracted, so that you. Uh, you know like a uh, focus back on them many of you guys are stalking them okay they they might be even posting pictures with other people uh like like mostly opposite sex so that you get triggered okay with the eight of swords they want you to feel stuck to them they enjoy that they enjoy the feeling that someone is so obsessed with them right in terms of their major intentions towards you the star card they want you to still look forward to this connection but 10 of swords they they still want you uh, to be giving into this you know fucked up situation this toxic connection regardless of what you are going through they are not willing to let you go with page of wands they want you to keep uh, being in communication terms with them or keep being open to them in terms of their major feelings for you i prestis it's like they feel a connection with you but they are not wanting to come to any sort of conclusion about it they are still uh, feeling that bond to you that tie to you but they are not wanting to fix themselves to be you know getting back with you are you getting my point with nine of pentacles i also feel like this this person chose you because it it made them feel good whenever you were their partner it kind of brought in a lot of ego boost in their life okay you you seem to be, be that support system and and when you stopped giving it 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 started bothering them okay but now when it's bothering them they they want you so that you can continue supporting their life okay some of you might have also financially helped them okay you you were that support system in their life be it emotionally financially and with five of cups it's like they they do miss what they had with you but i still do not see them having intention of dropping their act that is their toxic nature their narcissist behavior their blame culture okay in terms of what could you look forward to in this connection the sun card you're getting attention for sure besides that what do we see seven of cups the confusion is going to continue many of you guys even have dreams about this person you are very bothered as to what's happening you're trying to find your way out but they are constantly on your mind with the death card i honestly feel that you need to make that decision you can't be going through this forever that's why i keep uh, telling you that you need to get a personal reading so so that you get a better insight since this is a, a general reading many of you guys might not be able to connect with it fully you know if even a personal reading cannot connect 100% it's mostly around 80 to 90 okay uh, <laughs> so universe only wants to wants you to know a certain uh, you know like a percentage of of the situation right we are also able to know a certain percentage we can't be telling you 100% it's not possible to be quite honest with you but you would get better insight uh, than you getting on a general spread right so that's why i keep telling you that if you are in a complicated situation and you want to find yourself out of it you got to go for a personal spread okay to someone who you trust i'm not specifically saying it's me or or someone else to to someone who you could trust with your uh, with your story okay in terms of advice what do you need to know 
I mostly feel like with the Knight of Pentacles, they'll still want to drag the situation. They won't want to give in much. With Four of Swords, you were focused on healing, but now they have again kind of distracted you. With Ten of Cups, you need to focus on what would give you happiness. A toxic person can give you happiness. Ask yourself that question again. Okay, with Justice card, you need to be honest with yourself. You need to be real with yourself. I know many people would still want to give themselves bullshit to, to uh, feel loved in a connection or to feel belonged, you know. Just because you're lonely doesn't mean you go back to a toxic partner, okay. You got to think twice about that shit, okay. Loneliness can push you towards that, but you got to be stronger than that, darling, okay. Actually, today, uh, love messages are not required, so I'll just pull in a few straight messages. If you guys are dealing with air sign, what's happening? If, if you guys are dealing with air sign, this person is emotionally manipulative, okay? They know how, as to how to play with you, how to uh, get what they want from you. But Nine of Cups, I also feel like in the past, the connection was good, but now it's gotten all one-sided. But with Ten of Pentacles, they, they do know that you would be that perfect match for them if it came to long-term co uh, connection, like marriage. Like you would never cheat on them. You would al like also provide a lot, right? So yes, if they choose you, it's it's going to be out of uh, selfishness. Okay, practical thing. If you guys are dealing with water. If you guys are dealing with water, this person is clearly manifesting you. The Hierophant card, you have learned a lot of lessons going through the situation with them. With Six of Swords, this person could have been at a distance from you or they were part of some other connection. They could have also been married or what are their intentions moving forward. But with Queen, uh, Queen of Cups, they still do think of you. You are still heavily on your mind. So water sign looks real good. You guys are dealing with fire world card this person was heavily obsessed with themselves or their work life the two of swords this person will bring in a lot of drama in your life they are not uh, sorted as to what they want and with the strength card they still have a lot of eco issues pride issues and that would not allow them to open up freely okay if you guys are dealing with earth if you guys are dealing with earth this person was in and out of your life i do not see them you know choosing you completely with temperance card they did seem promising at some time in uh, the, like the connection, but right now they are rather stalking you than doing anything about it. But there are good chances that they might want to reach out. Okay, they they cannot face the fact that they are in separation with you. Okay, the Knight of Cups. If you're asking me about feelings, they did have feelings for you. Okay, one last card for advice. What are you supposed to be doing next? With Two of Pentacles, you need to know. The positives and negatives of the connection and you need to act wisely the three of pentacles or uh, work on what you need to do to work or uh, uh, to possibly move forward in life not just this connection okay uh, and with five of wands if this connection just brings in drama you know exactly what to do right so that is all i have for you i have a direct 20 percent off on uh, readings if you are coming up for your first spread with me okay that's only on certain orders not all also, if you are in a complicated situation, you got to buy the particular spread, that particular read. You, you can't be choosing the least expensive reading and expecting a whole lot of, uh, you know, insight based on that. Okay. Also, uh, if you guys are on Instagram, you could come follow me on Divine Soul Guidance. I'm posting a lot of stuff for self-awareness, self-love, self-respect. Uh, okay. Uh, if you guys are Libra, you can come follow me on Libra Vibes only. If you are Scorpio, you can come follow me on Scorpio Vibes only. That is all from my side. I hope this connected with you. The purpose of the reading was to bring in some honest insights based on a situation as to what's happening. I do not want to sugarcoat. I will never sugarcoat. So my readings are always going to be different. Okay. It's more over to tell you what's happening. Okay. I do not intend to make you feel good after every reading, right? That's, that's not the purpose. So that is all from my side. Thank you so much. And do like the video if it resonates with you. Thank you so much.